Hi and welcome to my first part of a series of videos on the MicroProfessor MPF-1 Z80 Trainer. So I just uh, recently um, received this and uh, I certainly don't profess to know a lot about um, programming the Z80. I've made a bit of a start so uh, I'm just going to go through some of the basics here and maybe in later videos I can go into uh, a little bit more advanced uh, stuff as I as I learn and uh, it comes in this uh, little uh, book like uh, case that you could um, put on your bookshelf it looks a bit like a fat book and um, you just open it up and we've got the uh, basic operation that's that's for um, basic uh, yeah, this is actually designed um, to be run uh, as, a, as a machine code uh, trainer really for the Z80 CPU uh, but yeah, the, there's an optional basic uh, with it as well that you can run so you can actually put in um, uh, basic uh, programs and call machine code uh, routines from basic as well so, yeah so first of all I had to um, I just modified a uh, power plug from a Spectrum because this unit didn't come with a um, power pack and uh, it takes 9 volt DC so uh, this jack here is from the uh, Spectrum and uh, but I had to change the polarity so you know if you ever uh, do get one of these and you've got a Spectrum power pack lying around or uh, but the polarity is reversed the uh, Spectrum has the the outer um, here is positive and the the inner terminal there is negative this is the other way around I wanted the um, outer to be negative and the inner terminal to be positive so um, yep it all goes well there now so I plugged it in there and turn it on and there we have the default uh, startup screen there I won't go um, th through what, what all the keys are right now I'll just cover them as I go it's probably easier first thing I'm going to do is just uh, input a really basic program that loads the accumulator with a uh, the number 5 and then um, load the B register with the number 4 and then add uh, the B register to the accumulator and then load that result into an address at 1830 hex and then halt the program so yeah pretty pretty straightforward stuff but um, this gives you an idea of what this is all about so first of all um, you want to uh, go to the start address of the program and the start address I'm going to choose here is 1800 uh, now when I refer to 1800 I mean 1800 in hex so okay so one eight zero zero, and so this set four set of four LEDs here is referring to the address, and this set of two is the data that's held at that address. In there at the moment, we don't want four F, so I want to input data to change this. So hit the data key there, and I want to put in three E, and that's load the accumulator. And then I want to uh, hit the plus here to go up one step in the address, so uh, 1801 now, and I want that to be uh, 5. We don't have to hit data again, to, I'm already in data entry mode, so uh, I, want to, I want to load the accumulator with the number 5. And then we'll go up another address here, and then I want to load the B register and the opcode for that is 06 and then I want to advance that and I want um, the number 4 to be loaded into the B register and then um, I want to add to A the accumulator what's in B and the opcode for that is 80 and then I want to load address so the next step will be I want to load 
uh, an address with what's stored in A, and that is 32. Okay, and then I want to input the, the location of the register to store the contents of what's in the accumulator, which is the sum of 4 and 5. 1830 is the address I want to store the um, result in, uh, but uh, we store these back to front. Now that's just the way that the processor works is it loads the any addresses are put in um, low bit first and then the high. So uh, we want address 1830, so 30 being the second part of the address, advance that, 18 being the first. We want to advance to the next address which is 1808 and 76 is just a halt command. Okay, so that's a real basic um, addition program. Before we go running that, um, we can run through uh, the code by just um, selecting, you know, the start address. We can check that, and then we can just uh, step through plus and minus, check the registers. So 3D, uh, sorry, 3E. Load the accumulator with the number five and then load B with the number 4. The next inst instruction at 18.04 is add to the accumulator what's in the B register. So it's add A comma B which means add B to A. And then uh, 3.2 is the opcode for loading an address with the contents of A and then um, we've got our address which is uh, uh, back to front you know uh, 1830 and then 76 is the whole command so it all looks in order there so um, one way to run that is to uh, hit the run stop PC st uh, stands for program counter so it's showing you that it's at the start of the uh, program and hit go now the red lights display to um, indicate that their program's halted and uh, now we can check the results just by um, hitting the run stop here to stop the program and then um, let's check what's in address 1830 which is where we stored the sum and there you go you've got the result sitting in address 1830 which is the result of 5 plus 4 uh, yep, yeah, so there's just a really basic uh, rundown on a very short program. Uh, now I'll show you a little bit about um, saving this to a tape. Uh, I'll just zoom out a little bit there. This is a, uh, a data recorder, uh, sometimes known as a data set, that I use for um, with my old computers whatnot so the the data is actually stored on audio cassette and um, so I can demonstrate the saving the uh, the program that we've just put in there so just rewind uh, make sure that's rewound and uh, input the that's the uh, loading jack this is the saving jack Okay, so to save this we go to um, tape right, tape WR, okay, and um, F is a file name, so let's just give it a file name of 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we hit the plus there, so this, for the start address now we want 1800 as the start address. Plus, that's asking for the ending address. Uh, I think it was 1808. So um, I'm just going to uh, pause and hit save here. That's the load. Uh, the save is both load and it's like your old cassette recorders. You had to push play as well as record at the same time. And um, and I'll just unpause there just to uh, get the lead leader tape through. It 
should be uh, through by now. And if it go on the microprofessor here. And there we have the data is now written to the audio cassette here. And um, now we should be able to load that back in. So what I might do just quickly is um, clear the registers here. So I'm just uh, putting zeros into those locations that I filled up before, just so that I can demonstrate. There you go. Demonstrate that it's actually loading the program. Okay, so if I step through there, you can see that the address 1800 through 1808 is empty. So now we can uh, go take read. It's asking for the file name, which it's remembered from uh, when I put it in before. Let go there. Okay, so the dots mean that it's um, waiting for information. So hit play on the tape deck. Found the file name, and the dashes there were just um, to indicate that it's actually receiving data, and that short blip at the end was the the data going through. So, uh, if we go to address um, 1800, here we go. It's loaded back in. It's like magic. And should be able to run the program. It's uh, halted. And if we go to address 1830, there's our result. So, um, although that could be still retained, the um, uh, that result from the last time I ran the program. So let's clear that. Put data. Put zero in there. So there's nothing in 1830. And uh, go to run stop. PC go. And now let's just prove that it's there. And there's the result, 09. Okay. So um, yeah, that's just a very quick rundown on the a very basic um, uh, use of the microprofessor. It's MPF-1. Uh, I've got other options that came with it, which I've not, I've not actually uh, had a decent look at as, as such just yet. Uh, but this one, uh, what is this one? It's an EEPROM programmer, so you can program your own, your own EEPROMs. Uh, it comes with a whole bunch of EEPROMs and a and a board. And that option uh, sits in the left hand side here where I've got the tape deck sitting and, and interfaces with this. I've also got a, a speech synthesizer board. And um, so you can uh, you can put chips in there and interface back into the to the unit there. I have not um, had a had a good look at this as I say, I've only really just received it, so yeah, time to Time to explore, so um, yeah, I might do videos uh, on those at a later stage. It gives you um, access to the basic programming language, a little overlay that sits over the keyboard there, some basic commands, and uh, so you could use this to um, you could write a uh, machine code routine. Uh, for instance, and then call the machine code routine from a basic uh, program as well. So you can mix mix and match. So keep an eye out for my other videos um, where I'll go through in a little bit more detail some of the more advanced functions. And um, yeah, thanks very much for watching.